Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh, Italian. U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. St. Clair Healthcare. Offering 32 medical specialties and only one priority. You. Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Doing business with a handshake and a promise. Eagle Finance. Loans made easy. Payments made affordable. Holbrook's Embroidery, serving our community for nearly two decades. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the Moorhead State Eagles. Major Brands Tire and Auto, service you can trust. Green Tree Forest Products, a leading producer of Appalachian hardwood lumber. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Row Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. And by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Hi, everyone, and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the campus of Moorhead State University and the Academic Athletic Center. As always, alongside my partner, the Eaglehead basketball coach, Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. And Preston, a big week this week, your two in-state rivals, one here at home, and then you go on the road. But Murray State on Thursday at Johnson Arena, and then on Saturday, the arch rival Eastern Kentucky University Colonels at McBrayer, an important week for your basketball team. Well, it's an important week, and uh, obviously to finish here at home, it's senior night sure. for us. Um, we're excited for the opportunity. Murray State coming in here. We opened conference season at Murray State, and for me, I'm, I'm really excited to see how much our team has grown, how much we've improved and gotten better at areas that, that cost us a game down there at their place. And then uh, another rematch uh, just down the road at, at Richmond against, uh, as you mentioned, the arch rival Eastern Kentucky. And so I was really pleased with our guys to pick up that win here. And so to finish the season at their place uh, will be a lot of fun to go down there. And then obviously both of these games are pivotal. Uh, you're fighting for, for a conference tournament spot or a conference tournament seating. And so um, it's, the, it's the culmination of the season and uh, getting ready for, for that third season. And that's, that's, uh, that's postseason in Evansville for the OVC tournament. Stay with us when we come back. Highlights from Moorhead State's road trip Thursday night to Jacksonville State. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Three, another big three for Moorhead. Hi, I'm Glenn Sorrell, Major Brands Tire and Automotive Service. Major Brands is the top selling tire dealer and auto repair shop in Moorhead and Mount Sterling. We carry all the major brands with more than 1,600 tires in stock. Check out our easy online catalog to find the perfect tire for your car or truck. Our certified technicians are well qualified to service your vehicle, including brakes, tune-ups, alignments, custom wheels and tires, and much more. Major Brands is a proud supporter of Coach Bradley Moorhead State Basketball. Go Eagles! Green Tree Forest Products in Wallingford pays top prices for saw logs and sanding timber. We produce 25 million board feet of Appalachian hardwood lumber annually and manufacture custom hardwood and pine pallets. We've also teamed up with Robinson Stave and are ready to offer top prices for stave logs. Green Tree is owned and operated by the third and fourth generations of the J.C. Wells family. For 65 years, our commitment to quality and unsurpassed customer service is stronger than ever. We welcome your business at Green Tree Forest Products. My name is Jack Rowe with Rowe Insurance Agency. We have been in the insurance business for over 50 years. We have a multitude of companies that can provide for you a comprehensive insurance plan at a reasonable price. We welcome your business and we will treat you like family here at the Rowe Insurance Agency. Larry Fannins and Moorhead is celebrating 69 years and we do business the old-fashioned way with a handshake and a promise. 
Larry has more than 350 vehicles in stock, from budget busters and certified pre-owned to the newest offerings from GM. All of our new models include a lifetime powertrain warranty, and our certified vehicles come with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. I'd love for everyone to stop by and see us at Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. And we bid you a good evening from Jacksonville, Alabama, where tonight it is OVC men's action coming your way on ESPN Plus as Moorhead State pays a visit to Jacksonville State. Good raucous crowd inside the peak on a Thursday night. Baseline three is good for James Baker. Jamal Gregory's shot is way off the mark. And it goes to Cooper. Nice body control just to retrieve that pass and then the touch to lay it in. So Moorhead's missed a few here. Opening the window for JSU. Dunlap brings a long range three right in front of Devon Cooper. That gets the crowd energized and forces Coach Spradlin to call a timeout. Jamal Gregory with the rebound. He takes it all the way, lays it in. Beautiful drive by Gregory. Double team on the baseline. They swing it out top to Hicks. Three-point shot from the left wing is good by Jamon Henson. Moorhead with a chance to play for the final shot of the half. They can't burn the entire clock down. Long-range shot from Baker is good. Big three-pointer. Moorhead State has to be pleased with how they performed the first 20 minutes. They've come on the road and taken it to the Gamecocks. they got a four-point lead. Here at halftime, you're watching OBC Basketball on ESPN+. Moorhead with a two-point lead and the basketball. Jordan Walker gives it up to Hicks. Back to Walker. His three-point shot is good. And that is a good sign if you're an Eagle fan. Into Harris, over to Cooper. Walker. Can't get the shot away. Harris will, and he'll hit the three. Another big three for Moorhead. St. Hilaire drives, takes it all the way. Reverse layup is no good, but Burnell is there to put it in. Another offensive rebound from Jacksonville State. That is now 11 offensive rebounds in the game. Moorhead State at this point starting to feel themselves a little bit. Jacksonville State looking to claw their way back into the game. And Hicks hits a huge three. Hicks goes to the corner. Harris couldn't get the shot off. They swing it to Cooper. Back to Walker. His three is good. Excellent ball movement once again. I think it's because they're able to move the ball and get a wide open three pointer like they just did. Harris flashes out high over to Walker. Drives. Well wanted a travel, no whistle, and he lays it in. Jacksonville State with their size advantage over the smaller Moorhead State basketball team. How about Christian Cunningham? A 13-point game working right now. Harris, a long, tough three, and he hits it with Marlon Hunter right there. Touched a lot of rim with that one, but he got it to fall through. Listen to the crowd get quiet for their own player. <laughs> and Hudson makes it. Gamecocks lead it by one. So Eagles inbound. Down by a point. Let's see where they go. Hicks out to Baker. Hicks drives, goes up, shot is missed, got his own rebound, throws it out of bounds, it'll be JSU ball. 
Cooper on the left wing. Hicks on the drive. His pass is knocked away. Shot from the baseline is no good. Burnell's got the rebound, holding the ball, and he's fouled. Oh, With 4.9 seven. seconds left. Yep. Hi, I'm Brock Littrell, President of Commercial Bank of West Liberty. For more than 100 years, we prided ourselves on treating our customers like family. The technologies we offer afford you the ability to bank with us from anywhere. Hi, I'm Howard Elam, CEO of Commercial Bank. I'd like to thank you for trusting us with your banking needs. I came out of the scope and they told me that I had colon cancer. Thanks to Dr. Perry and the surgical team here at St. Clair, I only had to take a month out of residency. I was able to jump right back into my rotations. I recovered incredibly quickly. I graduated residency on time, and now I'm an employee of St. Clair. Um, I've signed on, and I'm working at one of their outlying clinics in my hometown, and life is pretty good right now. Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking with a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to come and bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best. The Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. This week we're joined by assistant coach Dominic Lombardi and Dom comes here, he's in our, his second season here at Moorhead State. He comes by way of Duquesne. Prior to that he was at the University of South Florida and then prior to that Dom and I worked together at the University of Kentucky under Coach Calipari and so Dom excited to have you here doing a terrific job and so just uh, give the fans a little bit of the insight as to uh, what it is that you do for our program. Um, I, I handle our, our guards' personal development, skill development, really try to uh, expand their games, their horizons, get them out of their comfort zone. Um, it's shown a little bit this year with Jordan Walker's development. Um, he's, I can't take too much credit, incredibly humble kid, hard worker, and it's, it's all on him, but he's done a good job at applying what we've taught and really slowing his pace down and, and letting the game come to him a little bit better this year. You know, Dom does a great job spending individual time with each one of our guards most specifically and so it's not uncommon to uh, have a, a player individually up in his office watching some film or sitting in the stands or maybe on the bus or hotel room watching clips whether it's of the opponent they're going to have to guard or themselves doing some self scout types of things and then obviously just being in the gym with the guy so talk a little bit about you know we, we talk about just you know our pride in being able to outwork people here and so Dom's done a terrific job of you know really helping us build that culture of guys wanting to be in the gym and so talk about you know how you've done that and uh, just how important that is to our development. People say you spell relationship T-I-M-E okay and and I kind of take that to heart with our players and spending as much time with them as possible whether it's in my office off the court on the court locker room um, just building relationship and spending as much face-to-face -face time with them as, as I possibly can. Um, I think that's uh, really been an impact I've had with the program and with our guys, especially the guards, and helping them improve and, and trust the process because they trust me and the relationship we have together. Yeah, Dom does a terrific job with, with all of that. And so you talked about the, the, that relationship piece. And Dom's got some great relationships, comes from a big time basketball family. His, uh, his dad is the head coach of Indiana, Pennsylvania, which right now as we're talking is the number two ranked division two uh, team in the country. They're very good. And then the starting point guard for that team is, uh, is Dom's little brother. So that was his first project in uh, player development was uh, 
was, was getting Dante ready. So talk about a little bit about your family, obviously your mom and your wife as well, but, uh, but talk about them a little bit. Um, unbelievable family, love them all to death. Uh, father's been a college basketball coach for 30 plus years, been division one assistant coach for 27. Now he's been at uh, Indiana PA IUP for the last 13. Um, he's been to two national championships games. Um, one in 2010 when I was a sophomore for him, and then one in 2015. Fortunately, lost both of them. But uh, he's had a great run there. Obviously, he's got a great team this year with my brothers, the point guard. Um, and he's, he's got a, you know, a fantastic culture there where, where they just are able to sustain success at this point. Um, as Coach said, you know, my little brother was my first uh, development project and coming from a, uh, a group of hard-headed coaches, he, he wouldn't look to take my dad's coaching very much, so he turned to me at a young age. Uh, but, uh, and then as far as my mother and, and wife go, fantastic coaches' wives, it's, it's a tough business to be in as far as our wives go, and, and both of them are, are absolute soldiers. As Coach said earlier, we've been t together at Kentucky, then I went to South Florida, Duquesne, and now Moorhead, and that's you know three moves in five years for my wife, and she's been my rock the whole way. So thankful to have you here and excited to see what the future brings as we continue to recruit guys and develop them the way that we've done and, uh, and continue to, to grow our program. So um, stay tuned, and we'll be right back with Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Eagle Trace Golf Course is one of Kentucky's finest, nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead. The unique and challenging course offers year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, and a covered pavilion perfect for great outings. We're proud to be the home course of the Moorhead State University men's and women's golf teams. I'm Bill Redwine, and I invite you to join us at Eagle Trace Golf Course or visit us online at moorheadstate.edu slash eagletrace. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Where there is a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is a place for you. Come let our friendly staff assist you with any of your banking needs. First National Bank is proud to be a part of this community and to be a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National Bank is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating more than 40 years as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take great pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple. Loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $3,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance or visit us online at eagle.com. Welcome back in to Inside Moorhead State Basketball and Preston on Thursday night, a big night for this basketball program. You will recognize your two seniors, LaMontre Harris and A.J. Hicks. Uh, they will be presented a video and also their framed jerseys. Their families will be out there at center court. A very special night for this program. It is. It's always a, a lot of fun to be a part of senior night sure. and uh, it means so much. You know, last season had no seniors on our roster, so there, there essentially was no senior night. Uh, two <laughs> seasons ago, my interim season, we were blessed enough to have six, mm -hmm. uh, six seniors and all of which went on to graduate and earn their degrees from here from Moorhead State and had good careers and good senior experiences and so very much the same here with, with LaMontre and AJ. LaMontre being here four years, scored a thousand points earlier this season a few weeks ago. AJ 
Uh, only two years with us coming from Columbia State where he's a junior college All-American, but has made great strides. Uh, he's really improved as a player overall with his floor game and his, uh, his passing and defense and, and everything. And so senior night's a lot of fun. You know, their, their families will be here, obviously a great opponent. Uh, Going to have a great crowd here against Murray State. And so uh, we always present the guys with their framed jerseys. It's, it's something we really like to do. And, um, you know, it's something that they can keep forever. And it's something very memorable that they have to hang on their wall. And, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. You know, it's a lot of fun to kind of put the stamp on their, uh, their final season here, their final home game. And, uh, and, and it's a great opportunity for our fans to honor those guys and the body of work that they've put in during their tenure here as well. You mentioned Lamontre's 1,000 points. Uh, another member of the 1,000 point club, which is, was pretty special to have two on the court at the same time, and that is Jordan Walker. And Jordan scored his 1,000th point, appropriately enough, with a three-pointer against Eastern Kentucky University. Talk about Jordan. Yeah, I'd I say we're so proud of Jordan. He's a guy that um, you know come, came here as a freshman from Indianapolis. That was during my in, interim season, and uh, you know he played behind two really good, uh, really good players. And uh, when he got his opportunities, he, he maximized those. And then his sophomore year, he was thrown into that starting role, and uh, he really fought and scrapped and did the things he needed to do to to be our most consistent player as a sophomore. And then. He made what is, is very important at this level. He made a huge, huge jump going into his junior season. And so the result of that is uh, three years in, he, he scores 1,000 points. He leads us in nearly every statistical category right now as a junior. And um, the things that probably our fans don't know watching the games live and on TV is just what kind of kid he is. I mean, he's just he's, he's phenomenal. He checks every box for us. He's a joy to be around. He works extremely hard. He's, he's coachable. He's very intelligent. He, he's, a, he's a student of the game. Uh, he spends a lot of time with our staff watching film, getting in extra work. And so, uh, you know, uh, that's why he is, he is so good. And um, we're, we're very, very proud and very thankful to have him here. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll wrap things up as we'll preview Thursday night's game against Murray State University here at LST Johnson Arena. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy our delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with trademark honey butter rolls, the best bucket of peanuts in town, and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogenhofer, and I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here in Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go wild! Go S! Go Reno's! Hello, I'm Gary Markham with Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We have over 4,000 vehicles to choose from, offering new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford, all with a lifetime limit of powertrain warranty. For more than 20 years, Tim Shore has been serving your friends and neighbors in the Kentucky area. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction here in Moorhead, Kentucky. We are Tim Short Auto Group. Holbrook's Embroidery Plus has been family owned and operated for nearly two decades. And we're proud to serve our friends and neighbors in Rowan and surrounding counties. We do embroidery, screen printing, vinyl, sublimation and corporate apparel, sports jerseys and so much more. We offer fast turnaround with top quality and customer service. We're conveniently located in downtown Moorhead. We're a community leader and proud supporter of local athletics. So come visit us and see what everyone's talking about at Holbrook's Embroidery Plus. Welcome back in to Inside Moorhead State Basketball here on the CW Lexington and Preston. It's hard to turn on ESPN uh, Sports Center. It's hard to look at NBA draft projections without seeing Ja Morant, the fabulous guard at Murray State. He's been the talk of college basketball this season, projected as high as maybe a number two draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft, and uh, he's special. Well, you know, he's obviously a terrific talent. Um, the, the things that make Ja really difficult to guard is he's an exceptional athlete, first of all. He's got great size from that point guard position. 
Um, and I think sometimes the fans don't always understand just how skilled he is as a passer and how gifted he is with the ball and his ability to see plays before they happen. And uh, his size helps him do that. He can throw over top of defenses. His athleticism allows him to stay one step ahead of the defense. And so he's a great player. Um, he's improved as a shot maker. He's another one of those guys that made a significant jump going from his freshman uh, to sophomore year there at Murray State. And so he kind of he makes all the other guys better. And not to say that their, their other players aren't good at Murray. They have some really good pieces, uh, but he's certainly the, the straw that, that stirs the, the drink, as you like to say. But he's, uh, he's, a, he's a load. He's, he's a lot to handle. And so for us, for our group, we've got to do a great job containing him, trying to make him uncomfortable, and get him out of his spots to where he's not making everyone else on the floor quite as effective. I do think it's very important to make sure that you know he, he, he can have 35 points and 5 assists and we could win the game. He can't get 35 points and 14 assists because then he's made everyone else around him that much better. And they are a good group. They got, they got great guys that can really catch and shoot. They got guys that can catch and finish inside. And so if you can take that away just a little bit, then it helps your chances against them. And so biggest thing we got to do, we got to play hard. You know, we got to make sure we're defending and rebounding and defending the post as well. Uh, they got great balance on the inside, outside of Jaws' ability as a point guard. They have great bigs inside, and that's where they hurt us when we played down there at the beginning of the conference season. So I think we've, we've improved in that area. We've improved offensively as well, and um, I'm anxious to see our matchup with those guys. Please come out and support the Moorhead State Eagles and, of course, senior night on Thursday against Murray State, and then make the road trip with us to Richmond on Saturday to try to get a big win at Eastern Kentucky University. Thanks so much for watching this week, and on behalf of the Eagle basketball coach Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. We thank you again, and we'll see you next week right here on Inside. More head state basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball has been brought to you by the Zolis of Moorhead. Fast, fresh Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. St. Clair Healthcare, offering 32 medical specialties and only one priority. You. Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick and GMC doing business with a handshake and a promise. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Holbrook's Embroidery, serving our community for nearly two decades. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the Moorhead State Eagles. Major Brands Tire and Auto, service you can trust. Green Tree Forest Products, a leading producer of Appalachian hardwood lumber. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll. And by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide.